welcome to 7 days to die testing arena and here I'm gonna make a simple test because uh, I'm sure a lot of people have asked this question and still don't have the answer for it which material is the best to use to build the base from so here we have reinforced wood reinforced scrap iron reinforced cobblestone with metal then we have reinforced uh, concrete and reinforced iron no whoops that's just iron wall basically these blocks in here iron wall and rest of the stuff that's what it is well since it's gonna take ages with a big axe and uh, axe I'm gonna do this with chainsaw and an auger and here I'm gonna have three tests first three simple tests first block I'm gonna cut off with uh, chainsaw then with auger and then a combination of uh, chainsaw and an auger uh, what this means is that uh, metal obviously have to take off with auger and wood you can take off with chainsaw. I don't think you need any of these tests actually on the other blocks so I might do it on the wood just for the sake of it. And then I have TNTs in there I'm gonna blow them all up and see how they do against TNTs. As you can see I have a double wall on the left side and double uh, flooring and single roof and single wall on the right side so uh, let's see how it does then. And the way I'm gonna measure this, let me just put this away, is by the fuel, how much fuel is taken. I could just count the hits, but it's gonna take like, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour to break all of these blocks, so... Okay, okay, I'm overreacting. But it's gonna definitely take like 10 minutes to uh, break one of these blocks with a uh, pickaxe, so I'm gonna do it with an auger. And for wood, I'm gonna do it with boat. So let's get started. Right, it takes 60 fuel to break one block with that, and now let's try the auger. Well, clearly not as effective, not even half as effective as chainsaw. I'd say about 120, and let's go too, too late. There is no point doing a double, because I was able to tell from the first layer that chainsaw is more effective on the wood, even if it's reinforced with steel, I mean scrap metal, it is more effective to use the chainsaw. So it means use the fire axe, where's the fire axe, I don't even have one use the fire axe on the wood so that's determined and rest I'm gonna just use the auger so but first I have to empty it and then refill and see how much it takes so let's see how much it takes alright I have refueled it and let's get started Well, that was unexpected. I'd say about 50, which means wood is actually stronger than uh, scrap metal for building. So let's go to the next one. Again, I have to empty the order because it, uh, I'll just show what happens anyway. See, it gives some weird amount. I'm gonna have to refuel it and go on with this. So wood was, uh, yeah, stronger, even though I used the chainsaw, but it doesn't matter if you use the fire axe, then that's the same result. So I'm gonna use it on a uh, reinforced cobblestone, let's see how it does. Well, that's pretty good, 78 or 75 or something like this, but cobblestone, yeah, it seemed to be pretty strong, so let's move on to the reinforced concrete. Right, let's get started. Started. Huh, 
Well, that was yeah unexpected. So concrete useless. Only took about uh, I'd say 20 because I again released it too too late. And let's move to the iron blocks then. Ready for the final test and let's go. Wow! Again, I did not expect that. So my guess is that uh, reinforced cobblestone is the best material to build from. It's the hardest to break through. And now the final test I'm gonna use Magnum to shoot these TNTs and see how the explosions uh, will be absorbed by these walls. So let's go. Right, well you can tell that the concrete is the biggest loser, but let's examine the damage. Right, so what do we see in here? It did damage to only one layer of blocks as you can see. Actually these are also damaged, so the explosions seem to come out a little bit and go on the sides. Actually these seem damaged too. Yeah, it actually did damage to three blocks, so it does damage to... I'd say three by three. It go the explosion was there, so one, two, three blocks. One, two, yeah, three by three, uh, three blocks then. And metal, it seemed to be same, and the damage is a lot more, as you can see. Even though it didn't break a single block, so and cobblestone. I think cobblestone is the best. It's very hard to tell, but this is clearly shattered, but this one is not. It's very difficult to tell on cobblestone, see? Yeah, cobblestone is the best, as you can see. I think this is damaged, this in here. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's... Yeah, it did only damage two of the walls. It didn't go through. Well, concrete, there is nothing to see. That's completely busted up. And iron, yeah, that's also busted up, so... So here you have it, I think that uh, from this test you can say that reinforced cobblestone is indeed the best material to use on the base building. And I would say that surprisingly second place is reinforced wood. I did not expect that, I really didn't expect that. That's amazing. It uh, absorbs uh, explosion pretty well. And on the test it took 60 with a chainsaw which was uh, well it's not that good if you break it with axe you can break it through so I think the best way to do a uh, base is layer of uh, cobblestone and reinforced wood concrete forget about it however I think concrete supports most weight so if you actually build a very tall building then it might collapse but I have never seen big buildings collapse so I think it's fine but anyway here you have it the question answered which material is the best now you know